The Tampa Bay area is under a hurricane warning and a storm surge warning while we remain firmly in Hurricane Ian's forecast cone. Our area has the potential to see significant storm surge on Wednesday and Thursday, according to the National Hurricane Center. But what is a storm surge? My name is Michaela Mulligan, and I'm the weather reporter here at the Tampa Bay Times. Storm surge is a rise in water above the normally predicted tide, and it's generally caused by really strong winds from a hurricane or a tropical storm, according to the National Weather Service. Storm surges can lead to really strong flooding and potentially dangerous conditions. Pablo Santos, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, told the Miami Herald that a storm's intensity, its wind field, and topography of the coast can all actually affect how much water will rise during a storm surge. And Tampa Bay's shallow basin makes us particularly vulnerable. The National Hurricane Center released a graphic at around 11 a.m. today that shows what forecasters believe will be the west coast of Florida's probability for a storm surge. On the lower end, the Tampa Bay area could see a storm surge around five feet tall, and on the higher end, we could see one around eight feet tall. Below us, from the middle of Longboat Key to Bonita Beach, their storm surge potentials have actually increased, and so now they have a range from eight feet tall to 12 feet tall. The large range in storm surge potential is actually because forecasters are still unsure where Ian's center will be when it passes by the Tampa Bay area. The possibility for a storm surge, especially one as extreme as this, is a huge motivator for officials to order evacuations in our area. Pinellas, Pasco, Hillsborough have all ordered mandatory evacuations for some groups, and it's vital to listen to what officials are telling you. If they say you should evacuate, you should evacuate. Follow along for more updates on Hurricane Ian by going to tampabay.com slash hurricane. Now is the time to really get prepared, but don't panic. Make sure that you're staying safe out there and remember to check on your neighbors and those who may be needing some extra help right now.